everyone. So when we left in March, we were on module five doing fractions. And today we are going to start with module six, which will be decimals. Um, and you'll, you will see fractions and seeing how they relate to decimals as well. So to start, I am going to share my screen. If you can give me a second, I will share. All right, right now in front of you, you should see a blank page. This is my Promethean board software. So I'm going to use this today to do our math lesson. So to get started, I'm going to draw 10. Bags. I can figure out where my pen is. <laughs> there we go. All right. One, two. Sorry, these are not very good. Four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and ten. So I have ten circles, so at least they're supposed to be circles. All ten of these together equal one kilogram. So if rem remember from first quarter, how many grams are in a kilogram? Think to yourself. I think if you remember how many grams are in a kilogram. Okay. So, one kilogram is 1,000 grams. Okay, kilo, remember, means a thousand. So 1,000 grams. Okay. So I will, now I want to draw this on a tape diagram. Okay, so I'm going to show how we would represent this on a tape diagram. I'm going to erase this first. I have room. All right. So tape diagram, big rectangle, all at cross. All right. So what Nanya think about what is my hole for my tape diagram? So what would go up top as my hole? So think to yourself, what would go on top? Okay, so if we remember back to our picture, we had 10 circles, and those 10 circles equaled one kilogram. So we're gonna write one kilogram, the abbreviation for kilogram is kg. So my whole is one kilogram. Now, how many parts am I going to divide my K diagram into? So think back to how many parts. So we had 10 circles, so we're going to have 10 parts. And remember, they need to be equal, as equal as you can get them. So one, two, I'm going to draw nine lines. Three, four, Oops. make this a little bit. Bigger so that I can put my all my points in there. Okay. Oopsie. Oh, well, we can do that, I guess. Uh, so, all right. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
nine, ten, part. Now, we said before that one kilogram equal how many grams? A thousand grams. Whenever we have kilo, that means a thousand. Thousand grams. Abbreviation for grams is a little g. All right. So if we have this whole, the whole kilogram, the whole tape diagram equals a thousand grams. How would we divide that into ten parts? Think to yourself about how we would divide this a thousand grams into ten parts. Okay, so this, so we would think of our parts as this is one over what? Two over, or another one over what? What would go underneath our fraction? 10 would go underneath our fraction. So it would be 110. Each of these are 110. Because there's 10 parts. It's 1 out of 10. Each of these is 1 out of 10 parts. Now, if two of these were shaded, it would be 2 tenths. We'd have 2 tenths of it shaded. I'm going to erase this one. We're going to leave the first one there. Okay. So the weight of one bag is one tenth of a kilogram. So let's write that. One bag. equals one of a kilogram. Okay, so now how much would five bags work, be worth? Think of the fraction that five bags would be So I bet would be worth of a kilogram. So if five of these were shaded, we would have five tenths of a kilogram. Okay, G. All right. I'm going to leave my tape diagram. This is what it would look like on a tape or on a tape diagram. Like I said, you could, each one is worth one tenth. Now I'm going to draw a number line underneath my tape diagram. I'm going to try to make it to line up as great good as I can. So let's see end point here. So we can get a straight line. Straight enough. All right. Draw my arrows. 
the number line can go on forever. Okay, my end point. Well, this is one. This part is one tenth. So this would be zero. So we have zero. And we're getting to one kilogram. So our end point would be one. Okay. So yeah, going from zero, our end points are zero and one. Now I'm going to label or I'm going to divide my number line or partition it into 10 parts. So we have zeros there, one tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths. Eight tenths, nine tenths, and our one would be, oops, and our one would be ten tenths. Okay. I'm going to write those on here. One tenth. Okay, count with me, one tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, this should be my halfway point because half is 10 is five, Five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths, oops, I was writing eight, seven tenths. Eight tenths, and nine tenths, and then our one is, would be our ten tenths. All right. So, I don't have a scale to show you. However, if I were to place one of these bags, one of the ten bags on a scale, the one tenth in decimal form would measure as zero. Right this point one. Okay, so I'll explain that in a little bit. But I just want to make that a point. So this is a decimal number. We read this decimal as one tenth. So one tenth is equal to 0 0.1. They're the same things. However, this is fraction form and this is decimal form. The dot in the decimal number is called a decimal point. So this dot right here, it's our decimal point. So we have, we have the text. So we have one tenth equal. One over ten, which also equals zero point one. All right, let me make this a little bigger. Actually, I'm okay. All right. 
So you wrote it in, on decimal point in our number line. So now think to yourself, what would our two tenths be in decimal form? Think about it for a second. So our decimal point for two tenths would be 0 0.2. Okay, what would our three tenths be? 0 0.3. And our four tenths, 0 0.4. Five tenths, which is also a half. 0 0.5. So you've probably seen 0 0.5 written before, but it's also a half. 0 0.6. Count with me 0 0.7. 0 0.8. And 0 0.9. Now, when we get to our 1, this is 10 cents, which is the same as 1 whole. So we're going to write that as 1, 1 whole, point zero. So it's one, 1 whole with no tenths. Okay. So we have 0 holes. And just one tenth, zero holes, two tenths, zero holes, three tenths, zero holes, four tenths, zero holes, five tenths, which is also a half, zero holes and six tenths, zero holes and seven tenths, zero holes and eight tenths, zero holes and nine tenths, and one hole and zero tenths. Okay. All right. So now I want you to think to yourself about how what I would say in fraction form and decimal form is I have eight of these shaded in. So if we had one shaded, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right, eight of those shaded by looking at the number line and the decimal. Think to yourself about what we could say eight tenths is equal to. Okay, now when we're doing these, it's important to remember your label. So our label here would be kilograms. So if you're thinking about eight tenths, we would have eight tenths kilograms. So kg, the k means kilo, the g means grams, equals, and then decimal point, Zero point eight kilograms kg. Okay, you cannot forget your labels. Get your labels on these. It is. It will mark down a point. Okay. All right. I'm going to erase. That part I just did. And, okay. and I'm also going to erase the number line. We're just going to look at the tape diagram again. Okay. I'm going to erase.
All right. So now we're back to our tape diagram. All right. So now, if I were to say we have, let's say, Ms. Schutz has 0 0.2 kilograms. Okay, so this is Ms. Schutz. So let's put S X. Okay, and Stanley, my cat. has 0 0.7 kilograms. How many kilograms do we have all together? Think about that. How many kilograms do me and Stanley have all together? If you were to put these on a scale, what would the weight be? Okay, so just like regular addition, we have 0 0.2 plus 0 0.7. Okay, so 2 plus 7 is 9. 0 plus 0 is 0. So zero, we're going to bring down our decimal points. So these decimal points, I'm going to bring down. So we have 0 0.9. So we have together, me and Stanley have 0 0.9 kilograms, okay, which is also how many tenths of a kilogram written in fraction form. Think about it. Okay, so it'd be nine tenths kilogram. Okay, if we were to write it in fraction form. All right. Now I'm going to erase all of this. Okay, and I'm going to give you one to try by yourself. Okay, and then I will go back and I will do it um, and check it with you. So, I want you to draw a tape diagram and a number line in fraction and decimals. Okay. Um, pretty much the same thing we just did. Let's see if you remember. So, except I want one kilogram, and I want you to show me on the tape diagram and number line, nine tenths of a kilogram, and actually, let's do eight tenths of a kilogram. So draw a tape diagram. I'll write this on the text. Draw tape diagram, just like the one we just did. Show me. Eight tenths and write two different number sentences. If I like, for example, if I were trying to add up to six tenths, I could put two tenths plus four tenths equals six tenths. Okay, right, two different number sentences. I want them both. in fraction form and decimal form. So for the example I just gave, with the six tenths, we could do two tenths plus four tenths. equals six tenths. 
So that would be one way I could do in fraction form. And I would write this in decimal form as two tenths would be zero holes and two tenths plus zero holes and four tenths equals zero holes and six tenths. Okay, so I want two different examples like this. Okay, however, this is just one example because it's in fraction form and decimal form. So I'm going to give you about two minutes to try this on your own. So draw a tape diagram and then show eight tenths in two different number sentences in fraction and decimal form. After two minutes, I will come back and um, we can check our work together. All right, so go ahead and get started. I'll be back in two minutes. And I'm sorry, it should be eight tenths kilograms. I don't forget the label. Eight tenths kilograms. All right, so I'm going to draw my rectangle for my tape diagram. We're going to want to split it into 10 parts. We get a tape diagram just like we did before. So we need nine lines. Try to make them as equal as you can. Three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten parts. Okay, so our whole again is one kilogram. Okay. Now each of these we said like before is worth one tenth of a kilogram and we wanted to show eight tenths. So I'm just gonna shade eight of them. Five, six, seven, eight. All right, so now I have eight tenths of a kilogram. All right, now the next step I gave you was to make two number sentences that we can make to equal eight tenths of a kilogram. So you could have different ones than I do, but the first one I think of is I could have four tenths. So one, two, three, four, plus another four tenths. One, two, three, four. Four tenths kilogram. Plus another four tenths kilogram. 
Like I said, you can have different answers than I do. There are quite a few that you could do. Okay, so that's the first one I think of. Another one I think of, I'm gonna do both the fraction ones first before I do my decimals. Okay, is two tenths of a kilogram, one, two, plus another six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, two tenths kilogram. Okay. Now, like it, if you have different ones, that still add up to eight. You can you could have done one plus one plus one plus one plus one and so on to get to add one tenth eight times. Okay, we can all have different answers. So don't worry, you're not wrong. As long as they add up to eight. Okay, but these are the two I came up with first. Now I'm going to write my decimals. For my first one, we have zero holes and eight tenths. Okay. Kilograms equals, we have zero holes and four tenths kilograms plus another zero holes and four tenths kilograms. Okay, so that would be my first decimal problem. My next one, here we have another zero holes and eight tenths kilograms. Okay, so this time we have two tenths. So zero holes and two tenths kilograms plus two plus six is eight, so zero whole and six tenths okay, kilograms. Right. So you should have something along these lines. However, like I said, you can have different answers. There's different ways to add up to eight. All right, so as long as you equal eight, you are good. All right. I'm going to erase this whole page now. No lie. All right. Let's see here. Okay. So now I'm going to give you one minute, and I want you to think of as many pairs. Pair, a pair is two numbers that can equal a whole. So we, for example, like we just two, two tenths plus eight tenths, that would give us 10 tenths, so that would be a whole. There's one example. So I want you to think of in one minute, I'm gonna set a timer. Just think in your, you can either write them down or just do them in your head. How many can you come up with? All right, ready, set. Go. All right, so think about how many you came up with. Good job. All right, now since we've been doing kilograms for a little while, we are going to move to meters. 
Now, it's the same thing with meters. As if I were to say one kilogram, it's the same thing with one meter. So we have one meter equals, okay. So one meter would equal what? It would equal 10, 10. Okay. All right. Now think in your head how much are in a meter. Okay. Think in your head how many centimeters are in a meter. Okay, so there are a hundred centimeters. Centimeters can be abbreviated by CM. A hundred centimeters equals one meter. All right, so we're going to do like we just did, and I'm going to show this on a tape diagram now. Draw a rectangle. Not a very good rectangle, but it will. All right. Again, we're just going to divide it into 10 different parts, just like we did before. So we need nine lines. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But one part of this meter, so this is one meter. I'm going to erase this top part. All right. This is our tape diagram is equal to one meter. Okay, so if we wanted to show centimeters on how many parts, there's 10 parts. So this would be one tenth. of a meter, okay, this would be two, if we had both of these, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths, eight tenths, nine tenths of a meter, and this would be, if we had all these, it would be one meter. So we have one tenth of a meter, okay. Draw number one underneath there. I'm going to try to line it up as best as I can. All right. Once again, our zero, just like before. So we have zero tenths here and one, because we have ten tenths here, which is equal to one whole. Okay. Of our one tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths. Six, ten, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, I'm not going to label all of them. All right, but we are going to go through. So this would be, we just set our ten. So let's go through the decimals. This would obviously would be 0.0, .0 0.1, 2, 3, 0 0.4. 0 0.5, which is also one half, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, and 0 0.9, and this would be 1.0, just like before. All right.
Okay. So this is all in meters. All right. Now if we switch to centimeters. Okay. I'm not going to draw an IT diagram and number line, but just know that one. If we add one centimeter. Actually, I will draw a number line to show you. So, just draw one number line. Oops, that's a terrible line. Hang on. All right, one line. Well, that's not much better, but sorry, zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and okay. So I have my number line, and these are in centimeters. So here, I would have one tenth of a centimeter, okay? Two tenths of a centimeter, three tenths of a centimeter, four tenths, five tenths of a centimeter, six tenths, seven tenths, eight tenths, nine tenths of a centimeter, and here I would have one centimeter. So we have that 10, out of 10, because one whole is 10 out of 10, equals 10 10 centimeters is the same as one centimeter, okay? Just like with our meter, what? 10 over 10 out of 10 meters equals one meter, all right? So now if I were to look at my top number line for centimeters, I want to, I want to add to get to eight centimeters. So my eight centimeters would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight here. So think in your hand, just like we did before. I want you to try to think of two different ways than you did before to try to add to eight centimeters. All right, so you did two ways to add to eight tenths of a kilogram. Now I want you to think of two different ways other than the ones you did before to add to get the eight tenths of a centimeter. All right, I'll give you about a minute. All right, so before I did four tenths plus four tenths and two tenths plus six tenths. So two different ways for me, I could do one tenth plus 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 one tenth equals eight tenths. Okay, which was in decimal form would be 0.1 plus 0 0.1 plus 0 0.1 plus 0 0.1 plus 0.1 plus 0 0.1 plus 0 0.1 plus 0 0.1 plus 0 0.1 plus 0.8, okay, centimeters. Another way I could do it is I know that 5 plus 3 is 8, so I could do 5 tenths of a centimeter plus 3 tenths of a centimeter equals 8 tenths of a centimeter, which in decimal form would be 0 .5, 0 holes and 5 tenths, so 0 0.5 plus 0 holes and 3 tenths, which is 0 0.3 equals 0 holes and 8 tenths, so equals 0 0.8 centimeters. All right, so there are lots of ways to add to 8, so hopefully you were able to think of a different way than you used before. All right. Almost done. Okay. All right. So let's see, I'm gonna erase. I'm just gonna erase this whole page. Now I'm just gonna type on here some numbers or some problems from. That I want you to try from the problem set. Okay. So let me see. Let me see. 
Okay. So number one, two. Trying to find ones that I can type on here that don't have pictures that go with them. All right, six. So this is six ten. The centimeter plus what equals what centimeter equals oops one centimeter. Okay, so there's one. You can try. Okay. So let's see. Oops. Number two. How about you try? I want you to draw a tape diagram we did before and show me 0 .0, 0 0.7 meters, so 0 0.7 of a meter. Okay. Shade in that much, and then I want you to write one number sentence. Sentence in fractions and decimal form. All right. All right, so I, I just want you to try those two problems. All right, I'll leave them up here for a minute so you can copy them down, and then I am going to exit. So I, and then you guys can do those problems. If you would like me to check them, you can send me a picture of them or anything through email, and I would be happy to check them for you. So this is just for your own practice. So and that, if you don't want me to check them, then that is fine. But I will leave them up there for about 30 more seconds for you to copy them down before we end our Zoom. All right. Well, thank you to everyone who joined me and watched my video. I hope that you learned something and that it wasn't too hard to do without being face-to-face -face and that this online teaching will be beneficial in some way. Um, I miss you all, and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.